What is going on everybody? Noel here with you guys today. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick look at the brand new update that came out for Xbox. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, what's going on? Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. My job is absolutely kicking my ass. I am working way too many hours right now. And while I really shouldn't be complaining about it, oh my God, it's taking such a toll on my channel. With that said, I just saw this brand new update uh, yesterday or maybe the day before yesterday, basically because that was the first time that I was able to turn on a console all this week. And I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with this stuff. Um, I do my best to keep you guys up to date. So the latest update comes in the My Games and Apps app. Does that make sense? Uh, in, in the My Games and Apps section. So I'm not sure if everybody knows about this already or has it already. Um, I unfortunately haven't been able to keep up with the news as much as I would like to. But as you guys can see, there is a little bit of a difference and so we're gonna be going over all this stuff. Now we still have our games and our apps as well as our groups, which is all stuff that we're already used to. I'm kind of interested, uh, or actually kind of surprised that I've only got uh, 306 games owned on Xbox. But if you scroll down under that, we have this brand new section called Full Library. So whenever you go ahead and click on that, uh, it shows you all the games that you do own. So actually I, I own 385 games, which means these are games that we've actually paid for, or they could be part of uh, your Xbox Live Games with Gold, I believe. So if you go ahead and click on here, uh, it's basically just all the games that you own, whether it's on 360 or uh, on Xbox One. Now you can check out all of your games. You can check out your installed games, which is what I like to do. Just keep it on installed. Uh, of course you can do your uh, the sorting from A to Z, uh, sort by the newest or group by letters. And then you can also change the, uh, uh, the size of the tiles. So we can go large, medium and small, which is all stuff that we are kind of used to already. And then all consoles, Xbox One Enhanced, Xbox One only, or 360 and Xbox Original games. So that is one thing that you can go ahead and check out right there. Now there is quite a bit uh, of information on here actually. Again, all of these right here, all owned games are games that you actually own. All the apps that you actually own, which the majority of them are free, so I don't know how many you guys have, but apparently I've got 34. And again, you can go ahead and click on installed apps just to show the ones that you have installed. And that's basically it. Now, the thing that I really like about this is that you have a separate section for Xbox Game Pass games, which again, if you have Xbox Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you get over a hundred games either just on your Xbox or on PC as well, which I think is really cool. Uh, this right now is showing every single game that's available to us on Xbox Game Pass. But uh, if you just go ahead and come up here again and click on installed, you'll only see the ones that are installed. That way it's not cluttering up too much of your area. And then my favorite thing about this is that they have a separate place for games with gold. Um, I just think it's kind of important to know which games you actually bought with your own money, the games that you actually own, and then the games that were given to you, um, as long as you have your subscription and stuff like that. So the fact that we have games that we actually own up here and then the games that we got for free with Games With Gold, I think is really, really cool. And again, um, I try to keep mine on install just so that I know which games I actually have on my console right now. So I think that's really, really cool. There's other offers if you, if you, if you have any other available offers to you. I've got EA Access, I'm not gonna worry about that. But that's basically your full library. I like the way it breaks down. And I just wanna know, do all of you guys have this yet or not? Like I said, I've been kinda of still keeping up with news here lately because of my job. But um, I think this is a really cool update and I really do like it. Now, if you go down to manage, you actually get more information, which I do like. More information in front, front and center that you don't have to jump into settings and crawl through all the stuff, I think is really good. So if you have any updates to your system or to any of your games, you can go ahead and check that out here. Now, as you guys can see, I don't have any updates, so it's not gonna show anything, but that's not such a big deal. You can also see your queue here. If you have more than one update, you'll see which games are updating when they are updating. If you click on here, you can go ahead and try to manage your storage as well. Um, I've got a six terabyte hard drive and that thing is almost completely filled up. Uh, we've also got the one terabyte Xbox, I believe. So that's kind of cool. But um, I try to install the majority of my games on my external hard drive. 
Uh, what else do we got? We can free up space, which I think is really cool. Um, here are some leftover add-ons, which means these games are not installed right now, but I do have the add-ons installed onto my console. So I can just go ahead and uninstall all if I wanted to make some room. Now it's not that much space. These are in the megabytes, so it's not even really a gig here, but I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall them all because again, I don't have those games installed at the moment. Now you can also have shrinkable games, which I think is probably something that they're trying to get ready for next gen with the Xbox Series X. But it says here, when you have games on this Xbox that can shrink while staying playable, you'll see them here. I don't exactly know what that means. I don't know if we've had games like that in the past. If you know of any, let me know in the comments down below. But I do think that this is something that they've mentioned that could be possible for the Xbox Series X. Um, it's a thing where I don't know, let's just say you have a really big game and it has a single player mode to it and a multiplayer mode to it. If you only want to install the single player mode, maybe that's what this type of thing is for. And then you don't really install the multiplayer mode until you really want to go ahead and play that. I think that's what this is for. Not 100% sure, but I do think that this is something that's going to be uh, more utilized trying to move forward into next gen. Uh, after that, uh, here at the bottom, I think is really nice. We've got some easy settings. It says, keep my games and apps up to date. I have that on because I always want my games to be up to date. You can install remotely from your phone through uh, the Game Pass app or your Xbox app on your phone. Always leave that on. Uh, I don't use the network transfer that much, so I have this off right now. And then you can also manage your subscriptions, which I think is great because uh, in the past, you've had to go into your settings and it it's still in your settings, but you basically um, just have to click a button in order to go to it. Before you had to go into settings and then click something else and then find your subscriptions and stuff like that. This is a simple one click button, which I think is great. Now I've blocked off the majority of the information here, but as you guys can see, I am subscribed to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which gives you Xbox Live Gold uh, and Xbox Game Pass for both your Xbox and your PC. Um, I have blocked off my personal information, but I'm good with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate until 2021, so I don't really have to worry about it. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm not sure if everyone has this or not. If you have it, let me know. If you don't, if not everyone has it, let me know in the comments. Again, I have not been able to keep up with all the news because of my job schedule right now. It's ridiculous. I'm doing uh, between 60 and 80 hours a week, and uh, I've just been drained so much. So I haven't been able to keep up with news. I haven't been able to make the videos that I want, but I did want to share this with you guys. If you have this update, if you know anything else about it, let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, I think I've kept you up to date with the latest Xbox information. So if you like this or any of our other videos on this channel, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and we will see you guys next time.